The Farm Island Recreation Area is about four miles east of Pierre, South Dakota, and it borders the northern edge of the Hippo Lake, uh, which is right alongside or part of the Missouri River. There's two campgrounds there. The western campground has about 70 sites and two bathhouses, while the eastern campground has 20 sites, uh, but they only have a restroom. About half of the sites are uh, bordering right on Hippo Lake, so you can walk right out to your camp or across the grass and go swimming. All the campsites are full gravel, but they're electric only. So there's lots to do there. Uh, basically any water sport, fishing, swimming, boating, that type of thing. But there's also a series of trails on Farm Island itself uh, that you can walk, where you can get up on the Lewis and Clark Trail and hike that. This is the main campground, coming from the east campground on the bike trail. You can see the bathhouse there. You can also see that um, about half of these sites put up against the reservoir. So basically out your back door you've got the beach and you can go right in there. Uh, keep in mind that there's only electric. Um, there is an area to dump tanks and there looks to be uh, places where you can water but uh, I'm not sure that they're really close to to anything where you can pull right up to them. You'd, this is the bathhouse and we'll take a look inside real quick. This is the easternmost of the two. Now remember that east campground that I'm in it doesn't have a bathhouse but basically you know there's a commode and you're in a little place to shave. You got electric in here and there's this uh, really huge Handicap shower. It's the only shower that's in each bathhouse, but that gives you a little bit of an idea uh, Like I said the restrooms are clean and well ventilated. They don't smell at all So all in all it's a good deal There's the westernmost uh, bathhouse uh, Layout is identical to the other one with a single shower You see there's a little picnicking pavilion there or the demonstration area where they give classes and again we're on the western part of the campground way off in the distance there you can see just a standalone restaurant we also have these cute little cabins They've got some that front right on the reservoir. And you can see back in there, they've got a couple, few of them that are further back that are closer to just the general parking, I guess, is what you'd call it. But this gives you an idea of the riverfront side or the reservoir front side. Here's a detail shot of one of those little riverside cabins. You can see they're relatively new. I'm hoping this is empty. It says that uh, they checked out today. But I just wanted to give you an idea of what it looks like. Now behind that screen door is a combination lock that lets you go in and out without a key. And this is basically the view off your porch. You can see the fishing dock over there in the, in the background. The boy be eating grass. Looks like he needs some yogurt this morning. Now off in there you can see a fishing pier. That's along the road that takes you back into the actual Farm Island original camp uh, that was put together during the 30s. So we're going to see that in a little bit here. I guess he just needs to drink his fill and then we'll be on our way. You can see on that road to uh, the old Farm Island, you can see some steps that lead down to the reservoir. Coming down to the water, I guess they're fishing spots or whatever. Not good for swimming, but 
uh, because they have rocks in front, but decent for just sitting and fishing. This is the westmost restroom that I pointed out in an earlier video. And the path we're going to take is going to the west on the bike route. At the top of that shunt from the westernmost uh, uh, restroom, you can see this sign. It's the Lewis and Clark Trail to Griffin Park. Look at these flies. I mean, just look at them. He's like completely covered in flies on the one side. Here's a shot of one of those fishing access points on the causeway going out to the old farm island. And if you look over there, there's the cabin that we did the detail of. Here's the fishing dock. This is actually all parking. It says parallel parking. And you can see that they've got a nice little... Uh, sheltered area here, like a pagoda. And there's the dock. There's the western campground. And then, that's a boat access area, straight on. And the eastern campground is tucked behind there in a little cove. You, can, you can't see the campers. And he's ready to go already. He knows there's no water here. Walking southward along that access road, we come to the entrance of uh, the CCC part of Farm Island. And you can tell by those stone columns, that's like classic CCC uh, work right there. Stone work, anyway. So we see a lot of that in North Carolina up by the Blue Ridge Parkway. There's a closer view of the boat launch area. You can see at that group of people there's a boat actually right before the launch, not backed into the launch yet. And then out in here is where we're headed. There's Galactica. I gotta get him in and dry it out because these flies are just absolutely torturing him. Always good to see Galactica after a hike like that. Knowing that that's home and everything we need is inside of her. And it looks like he's not interested in the drink. He just wants to go right back. Like I said, these flies are terrible this morning. I think I'm actually going to eat and cook breakfast inside for change. I don't know if you can see him, but the flies are just swarming here. Just like swarming. Wow, man, that video was a bear to make. Well, to film it and piece it together, but it's good experience for the UI of the uh, software I'm using. I hope you enjoyed the tour of Farm Island. I know that I enjoyed the challenge of bringing it to you. I know that Deacon enjoys just about everything except them goofy flies. Right now we're tucked away in a secluded location in the shade. Deacon's working real hard too. All right, I gotta make the trek back to the office. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. See you out there.